fashion designer yes and from the way people are telling you come on baby so it's how did you do it 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 and i said okay and so my friend came to my house and let me see her she was like oh, if you start doing this content on youtube it's going to make sense so we thought about it i said she said she should know how to do it and that's also my friend That would like to out there that don't know how to cook. They feel before you start cooking, you have to buy uh, uh, goat meat, buy turkey, buy chicken, buy a little no. You can cook with a little you have. So that's why I said, even though sometimes I use chicken, I use plenty meat. But anytime I'm cooking all those things, I still show you. When I cook with big big ones, if you have the money for the big big ones, you still learn how to incorporate all of them and make out something very delicious for yourself. So guys, you already know it's not good to cook with jewelry. I'm here to teach you as a mother. I can share some tips on motherhood for you. As a tailor, a fashion designer, okay. I, I also have some fashion videos to share with you on how to sew or make some dresses and fashion accessories. I'm a teacher by profession. <laughs> so, you, you see, we're only going to learn about from this channel. Please like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bell for our new video. We are going to do this vlog. So, let you care. Look at the. I make a cooking with this. I just started, so I hope to start with you. So today, you know, in my last video, I told you that I was going to use this to make our stew today. So I bought it when I went to the market on the last video. So today, <coughs> I'm going to be showing you. Now I'm going to the papa pasta. So I'm going to be showing you how we make the papa pasta. So if you check it now, you see. Uh, I have this curry that I planted in front of my house. Uh, I'm going to be using it to probably leave this out of the bit, right? Yeah, I've just harvested them out. We just got some of these that the matter we're going to be using. I just want to make small stew. We just make this pan lap fish. I'll show you how it looks like later. I will, I will have to debone it and clean it. But so then these are the two metals and pepper I'll be using. So you see, this is my granola oil. This is my maggi. This is my salt. Don't mind my salt, but I think I got for it. Too. I don't know if I'll be using if I'll be using this that means I won't be using this. So I'm thinking of using ginger and garlic, but there's no light to blend those. So I'm just going to use my mortar and blend. And first of all, boil this and use my mortar to fill it. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know how my daughter will see, but I'll try as much as possible to blend it till it's smooth and has no um working inside. So I'll just try because my daughter, you know my daughter does not like having anything obstruction in her food. So let's get started. So in this pot I'm already boiling water for rice. So it's already boiling so I have to put my rice inside so we're going to be putting our Sunday rice together. <laughs> so in just So I'm having a very cleanly washed. So 
and the tail of the elephant and the and the and the form of how to perform the marriage of the head. But don't bet that they're now washed and salted the banana. So I'm going to fry it. I rather I like my own. I have to fry this banana before I'm going to boil it and use fry the banana to fry my stew. So the best shot of the rice by now it should have come for it. So I'll wash it and put it back. Just for what I used to boil it with onions and blend everything together. But what am I going to do? I can still blend it, the onions, in that mixture. So it's already heated up. So I'm going to pour the sauce in. They used to say that pala doesn't have any taste or something, but frying this pala like this after before you fry your tomatoes. By the time you start, by the time you finish frying your stew without oil, it will be. I won't even believe that it comes from Canada. Hmm, very much in this process. Okay. Um, I just like a light frying your dish. It won't be brown. Just try it. So that we're also trying to show that the food stack up too much in the stew. It should just be like meat in the stew. Oh. So guys today, my daughter learned how to open her happy hour by herself. <laughs> Hey, she's just two years, so whenever you give her the spirit, happy hour, she will be looking for who will open it for her. But today, man, she tried it and it worked. So I believe I won't be doing guys with it again. And I said, I'll hold it after bath and I'll open it for you. Hold it after bath and I'll open it for you. Now that she knows, ah, wahala. <laughs> this one is the little thing you give her, boom, boom. Sometimes I will say it relieves me the stress of when I'm doing something. I feel like uh, now the time control her over it once you give up, it's already open. It's no grief for anybody from now on. No grief, no grief. Okay, guys. 
Different things with the love food that I don't know how to eat. I love cooking and I love food. Everything, my tin tomato and my fresh tomato, I put everything at once. Like everything I put it. Let me check for my eyes. Mix a little more water. A little more uh, water for my rice, that is good. So people will say you didn't taste it or you added water. So we don't like too much soft rice. So I didn't add too much water to it. So right now I'm going to cut up my tomatoes and add to the to the fresh tomato. Bowl. Splashing up to cover my pot so that it won't be filled with oil. Uh -huh. So let me continue with my oil. Uh -huh. So please like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell for our next video. So by me. I'm not really the very makeup type. Of. You'll be seeing more of this face. <laughs> I hope it's not bad. <laughs> hey, let's have fun in the kitchen. Let's have fun in the kitchen. 
I messed up on those two. Who's that? So I told one, we Going short of prefish in my house. I usually buy in paint, then to remove the provenance from my colleague as milk. It's already cleaned, very clean and picked. So that's why I usually buy it because I don't like washing prefish. This is going to be fire, everything is. <laughs> I feel while washing prefish, the taste of the prefish usually goes with it. I don't know what you feel. Share your own view. You can comment. Do you think prefish taste goes um, do you think prefish taste goes with water that I use in washing it? Or do you believe do you share the same view with me that if you wash prefish, the taste goes with water somehow? Or do you think it's, uh, it's a hygiene something? Just share your, <laughs> share what you think on the comment section. Me, I can let know. I, I think it's done. Up. Just share. Comment on the comment section what you think. Should I start washing my clothes? You should just comment. Advise me because I just love it like this. If I feel the taste more when you don't wash it, share your own view on the, in the comment section. So everybody's eating the thing. So I store here. It's almost I use it for like it's going to two months now. I bought it. So it saves me a lot of money and time. I could just enter the kitchen and just go back for coffee. But I've already done the love rice and we are good to go back. But I, don't, I usually have, I usually fry my meat down and put it. I'm going to cook my fish now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will still stay. I will not forget to rinse my stuff. Once it dries now, it's ready. So, basically, our food is almost done. I would have loved to add egg ah, to this one and eat the egg the next day so that the egg soaks too. Shall I go? Ah, I'm just using this one more cube. Just one more cube. That's the one that has two. Okay, let's call it two now. I usually use no chicken for my cookings because it gives it gives me the taste I like, unlike the normal. So I just have to stir this again. But guys, I want to know your view. How do you know a stew that is ready to be served? Just write on the comments. Okay, let me tell you my own view. My own view is that once the oil starts floating on top, you know that the stew is ready. And so, as in float on top with crystal clear oil. Mm -hmm. So, share your own. How do you know when the stew is ready? So, our rice is done. No water. Stop. Hmm. We are always careful here with salt, so the salt is perfect. Add my curry leaf. If you like, you, you cut. If you don't like, just pour it like that. It's because of this day, I'm just trying to shred it a little. Please, guys. Which I said you should not mind my thoughts. Please just have fun watching this video and learn what you want to learn. What's it Everything to mix to boil properly, you know, using the pot to boil. We leave it on boil for like 10 minutes again, for 15 minutes. Once you see the oil floating on top, which is crystal clear, when you see it, just boil, once boil is clear, you know that it's properly fried. So people don't allow it to fry to that extent. But anyhow, you want it. 
So the aroma from this, I must say, fragrance because I also sell perfumes. So, so the aroma from this pot is heavenly. I'm, I'm assuring you that. Just try it. Let me give you a cup. Pour your tomato sauce with a little water. Let it dry up a little. Let, let it bounce. <laughs> so blend it. Fry your pan. Clean up your pan and fry it. And then with that same oil, add uh, your tomatoes. No, fry some onions and add your tomatoes into it. You can blend your tomato pepper with the onions and then with your ginger if you're using. So pour it into the oil that you fry your pan and the onions. Stir. Leave it to boil to fry a little. Then add some uh, add your salt. Add your add your salt. Add your ghee. Uh -huh. Just stir. 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 Add your pan so that the taste. The taste of the stew also enters. But you know sometimes they say pan doesn't have taste. But when you fry it, the stew. And I fried it first, then fried it with stew. Stew will give you the taste. So fry it with the pepper. Then put in once it's. I hope you added your tomato, your tin tomatoes with the fresh tomato at once. We are frying together. So once you see that it's getting done, add your curry leaf. <coughs> then let everyone just descend. Don't forget your crayfish, then the crayfish and add it. If you like, add your crayfish and leave on the fry. If you like, then let maybe when it's close to getting properly done, add the crayfish. So the flavor come. Then if you don't have meat stock or you don't have meat stock, you can just add a little water. Add your salt to taste. Add a little water. So. So we're just looking at my stew. So maybe my next video will okay. We'll do so. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um Everything is perfect in this plate of goodness. Okay. This is the final. Mm.